I've seen lots of different variations of weekly planners, some using the board view, some using the calendar view, but not many using both together. So what I thought I'd do is combine the two together, and this is what I came up with. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. So to start with, I'm going to create a board database view. I'm then going to go into the card and I'm going to change the select property. So I'm going to turn that into a multi-select, then type in all of the days of the week, because these are the titles of the boards that we're going to move our tasks to. I now need to delete these three that were automatically put in. I'm also going to change this multi-select back into a select so the tasks just stay on the one day. Now I'm going to change this assign column into a date column, but we're actually going to call it week beginning because this date is only going to represent what week this specific task is in. Because we can't use a select property to change a date, we actually need to use a formula to be able to see the task in a calendar view. So we're going to put in that day property and ask if it's equal to Tuesday. And you can see a little tick box has come up. But what we actually want to do is add one day to that date column that we've put in as week beginning. Because week beginning will always be Monday, Tuesday we need to add one day to the original date. So what we're doing is asking if the day is Tuesday, then add one day to the week beginning. If it's not Tuesday, then just put week beginning. Now this formula will only work for Monday and Tuesday. As you can see, we change it to Tuesday and it will add one day to the week beginning. So what we need to do now is copy that formula and paste it in again, but change the day. So now we want to see if it's Wednesday and if it is Wednesday, we need to add two days. And then if it's Thursday, we want to add three days. If it's Friday, we want to add four days. Saturday, we add five days. And then Sunday, we add six days. That 7 should have been a 6, that's my bad maths when I was making this. Now when we go back to that board view, we can change those cards and move them around. As you can see, card 1 has a day in it because it's got a week beginning date. Card 2 and 3 don't. So if we go into those cards and we put in the week beginning, which is Monday, you can see it's showing the week beginning day, and that week beginning won't change, but we're actually changing the formula day by moving them across to the different days in this board view. So now when we create a linked database view of this planner, you can see even though that week beginning date is the same, the formula date has changed because we've moved it across. So when we create this calendar view of the same database, you can see all of the cards start on Monday, but if we go into calendar by and we change it to the formula, it's now showing the cards on the appropriate date of that week. So when we move the cards across in that board view, the cards also move across in that calendar view because the formula is changing as we move them over. But what if we need a task for next week? If we create another view in this calendar view, and this is sorted by the week beginning, we can move that card down to next week. Then when we go to the board view, we can create a new view that says next week. I'm going to make the card smaller and rename that first view so I know which is which. Now I just need a way to filter out the tasks that are for this week and next week. So what we're going to do is use the format date formula, put week beginning in, and we're going to put a W, which shows us the number of the week that week beginning date is. And if that number is equal to the week number of now, then it's this week, because they will both equal 23. But because there's going to be more than just one week, we're going to turn this into a question by putting the question mark, and we're going to say if it's true, put this week. If it's not true, put far away.
Now you can see because this task's week beginning is this week, it is this week. So now when we go into that board view, we can filter by the week, contains, and then type in exactly what you've put, so this week. Now you can see that task 3 on the Monday has disappeared because it's not this week. If we drag it back to this week, it will reappear on that weekly planner board view. Now when we go into that next week's view, we can add the filter, go down to week, contains, and then again exactly what we put in, so far away. And you can see now it's only going to filter things that are far away. So maybe two, three, four weeks ahead, all of those tasks will be shown there. And the same thing applies when you move the cards across and we go into that agenda. That tile will move across, but one week later. Then when you go into this week's board view, you can move this week's tasks across. If however you want a week view for this week, next week, and far away, we actually need to change that week formula a little bit. So what we need to do is find a way of isolating next week's tasks. So we're going to use the format date, week beginning, and we're going to ask for the week number. Now we're going to ask if the task week beginning is the same as right now's week beginning, add one. So essentially we're asking if the task week number is one week from now, which is next week. And because we've added one, we need to change it to a number, so we're going to use two number, which changes it from a date format to a number format. So now you can see because this task is this week, it says this week and it's not ticked. If we change that week beginning, it will say far away and now the property is ticked. Now we can ask that as a question. If it's true, we can say next week. If it's not true, we can say it's far away. You can then repeat this process by adding two, adding three, and making them two weeks in advance, three weeks in advance. And once you've made that formula, you can copy it, paste it into your week formula. And now we're asking, is the week beginning the same as now? If it is, say it's this week. If not, ask if week beginning is next week. If it is, put next week. If it's not, put far away. If you wanted to add more in there, you would put it before the far away. Now we can delete that other property because we don't need it. So when we go back to our weekly planner view, we can go into the next week view and you can see because we've changed that formula, the filter doesn't work. So we're going to change that to next week. And as you can see, that task has now appeared. Now we're going to create another board view for those far away tasks. We're going to change the card size to small so we can see all those days. And now we're going to add a filter. Still using the week formula. And this time we're going to add far away. You can see nothing's come up so far because I've actually added the wrong words because it's capital sensitive. So if we go into the formula, you can see the A is a capital. So if we were to put a task into that far away category, nothing shows up in the board view because it doesn't quite match. But if we change that A to a capital A, that task is now in that board view. So now when we go down to that agenda, you can see that task is working just the same as this week and next week. Maybe you want to be a little bit more specific and look at a daily planner. If that's the case, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.